Hey there guys, you're back here with Nate, and today I'm going to have a little story to tell you guys. So, um, today I'm in class, and, uh, we're sitting there, and it's just a normal day, and, um, okay, let's skip this, let's go to an actual story you guys want to listen to. The time I crashed, the worst crash I've ever had. So, I was sitting in my room, and my friend comes to the door like a normal person, and he's like, hmm, let's go outside and let's race. So I'm like, what do you mean by race? He's like, let's do a dirt bike race. And I'm like, that doesn't seem too safe. And he tells me, no, man, you'll be fine. It's just me and my girl. So I'm like, okay. So I come over to his house. And he lives quite, like, across the neighborhood. He's not that far. So... We're just sitting there, uh, in his, kind of like in the street, because I'm living in a cult, not a cul-de-sac, but a neighborhood, and it's like a, an oval, so, he comes up to me, and he's like, hey, you ready? And I'm, I'm, at the time, I'm using like a really, something like a 2006 Kawasaki, or it was a, uh, I think it was a Kawasaki, so, he comes up to me, and I'm sitting on my bike, and he's on his four-wheeler, and his girlfriend's in front of him. Like, at first he was driving, but then his girlfriend was like, let me drive. So, I'm like, alright, that doesn't seem too bad. Um, she must be a good driver, then, if you trust her that well. So, my cat just came out of, from under my bed. By the way, that pat dab in the background, I, I was like, nice, mate. So... I'm not Australian at all. I'm just doing this. So, uh, we're sitting on the. I'm sitting on my bike. There's about four or five people around me. Uh, he lives towards the front of the neighborhood, and I was sitting. And he was on his four wheeler on the back, which he's got like a. Uh, I think it's something like a 200 cc bike, and I was riding like a 80 ones and 80 cc. So I wasn't gonna catch him at all. Or he was riding like a 100cc, I don't know, something like that. But I know for sure I was not going to catch him at all. So, I knew it at the time, but I thought I was as fast as him. So I was like, alright. So I go, and as I'm like riding around, uh, this is before, like 15 minutes before. I'm riding around in circles trying to warm my bike up. So that way I'm actually fast enough. Because uh, a cold bike will not do it as much as you think it will. So... Now let's fast forward a little to about the race. So, I go for the race, meaning I'm sitting there, there's me right next to, he's right next to me, and actually his girlfriend was driving, but she was actually in front of me. They took off before me, which, it'll, it'll give you a little in-depth into the story. So my dirt bike, which has two wheels, which has less friction than a four-wheel bike, because less friction equals faster speed, uh, also known as uh, acceleration, a lot faster acceleration. So I caught them. I'm they're riding a good one something cc four wheeler, and I'm riding an eighty or seventy five cc dirt bike. Now that tells a lot. So the fact is, I caught up to them, and this was about after half a mile. So. Uh, I'm riding my dirt bike right next to them. Now, here's the thing. I was, actually, I wasn't right next to them. I was, like, right beside them. Uh, behind them, meaning. So, I was about, like, right behind them. But I wasn't to the point where, like, our wheels were tapping. I was to the point where, like, there could fit a car between us. So, then his girlfriend puts the brakes on. Now, he has no tail lights, so I didn't see this. She puts the brakes on. Because she thinks she didn't look behind her. Puts the brakes on. And stops in front of me. And we're going 40 miles per hour. She at the same time. Turned. She turned the four wheeler. As we're speeding. Down the neighborhood. Now granted. It's very stupid to speed down the neighborhood. I know that now. But that was uh. About when I was 
12, and I'm 13 now, going on 14 on December 5th. So, she crashes into me. Now, here's how I knew it was going bad, because I was like, why is she getting close to it? Now, I had about 4 point, little less than 0.4 seconds to think about this before I was pretty much dead. So, whenever I saw that, I stepped on the brakes. Now, granted, I have a terrible bike at the time. Now, as I step on the brakes, that doesn't do crap. Diddly squat. So, she steps on the brakes, my wheel touches the back of her wheel. Now, granted, it's, okay, so you're looking at the bike from the back view. My bike came up beside her and tapped her wheel. The very back wheel. Now, our bike is spinning two totally different ways. Her back wheel is spinning forward, my back wheel is going down, hers is going up because I hit the very back of the wheel. So the friction, I hit the wheel, smoke popped out. I was done. I, I was done. So as I hit the wheel, the smoke came out and just jacked me up. I was screwed. So I heard this, I saw the smoke, I saw a tiny bit of smoke. And after that, I just knew I was done. So, with that, the front wheel flipped. The front wheel either locked up or something happened because it stopped immediately. The front wheel shot down like a bullet, meaning it stopped. So, and my back wheel was still going. So, the back wheel jumps up. Yeah, it ju no, it jumped up. So the back wheel jumps up, granted, I'm still riding it. As I'm riding this, the back wheel jumps up, and the bike, I jump, I fall off the bike, like, I flew off the bike. And at the same time, the bike flies with me. So I'm just flying down the road, going 40 miles, about 30 miles per hour, sliding on my leg, my hands, and my helmet. And occasionally my back. Because at the same time, I was rolling. Not, not, not a good combination. So I roll, I fall, I get jacked up. So I sit there and I roll for three seconds, maybe four. Now, if you if you know what I mean, whenever you fall, you know that's a long time. That is a very long time to fall. And when you fall, you either stiffen up or you loose. If you're stiff, you will break something. So, of course, I loosened up, and I rolled like a ragdoll. I, I did about 27 rolls in 4 seconds. That's how fast I was going. So, in that 4 seconds, with all those rolls, I pretty much, whenever I went to go get up, my helmet was falling apart. Meaning the front protector, like whenever you have a dirt bike helmet, it goes out into like a little triangle kind of, and it has a little like in shaved part. Yeah, the front shaved part where the breathing hole is, broke. I hit that hard that it cracked the side of my helmet, which I have to admit is not necessarily metal, but it's a very hard plastic. It's something that even a dirt bike professional would wear, and I hit it and I cracked it. So, as I cracked it, the front piece where it protects your mouth kind of fell off. Yeah, that's fun, I guess. So, as the front part falls off, I can't do anything. But I got up, checked my face. Face was still intact. Barely. So, I uh, checked my body. Whenever I say that, I mean I checked my fingers, make sure they weren't broken. I checked my toes, even though I was wearing tennis shoes, which wasn't necessarily smart. I was wearing shorts at the time. Take that into perspective. So, wait, I think I was wearing, yeah, I was wearing shorts. Shorts and a t-shirt. Make sure, glad I wasn't wearing a muscle shirt. So I'm wearing the shorts and a t-shirt. And I hit the ground... The back of my shoulder was shaved off. My leg was gone, meaning it was pretty much down to the bone. 
my bike, the handlebar was tilted about almost not necessarily 90 degrees but 45 degrees to the left of where it's supposed to be my whole gas tank flooded the engine and my oil was spilling out of it because I had cracked the oil tank container so yeah that was pretty fun and I had to wheel it all the way home which is only about a quarter mile but at the same time, I was shaking because of the fact that I had almost broken something on my body. And it felt like I had died because my stomach hurt, my legs hurt, my body hurt. And you know what's funny? I had school the next morning. That's fun, right? Yeah, right? So I didn't go to the hospital because I'm too awesome for that one. So I stayed at home. Not for the day. But... I went to school the next day, and I was only in like a good, actually no, I was like 11, 10, went to, uh, it was about 5th, 4th grade, and I had to sit crisscross applesauce the next day, you don't know how bad that hurt, <laughs> so, with that being said, that's the story of my worst collision ever. If you guys liked it, and you watched all the way to the end, which y'all are awesome, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, because I know subscribing is a pretty good thing. Uh, make sure, if there's any ads on this, don't watch them, because I'm awesome. Make sure to uh, leave a comment saying I'm retarded, and that I shouldn't ride bikes anymore, even though I have a dirt bike. So, by the way, it was uh, motorbikes, but that doesn't matter. So, uh... You guys are amazing. You guys hit 75 subscribers in less than a month. Uh, or two. Doesn't really matter. But that's just amazing. Uh, thank you guys for everything. My mic touched the... Doesn't matter. So, thank you guys for everything. Make sure... Thank you guys for all the subscribing and liking. Uh, I know you guys like my lag montage. And I'll make sure to do those. I'll just make sure I have uh, my personal hotspot on. So that way I lag even more us. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to comment. And peace. Make sure to, you know, subscribe if you like that gameplay in the background. And if you like this uh, accent, I'll keep doing it if you guys want. And peace. Bye.